got going on here? So we got this K24 up in here. K24 A, which this is a TSX UR Accord in Japan. And it's got 30 some thousand miles or less. And um, we're gonna freshen it up a little bit. We're gonna put a new gasket, the oil pan. We're gonna put a uh, Type S, new oil pump. We're gonna put a VTC 50 degree uh, cam gear. A uh, new timing chain with all the bolts and hardware and a uh, timing tensioner. So, yeah, we're just gonna go to town on this. So, we're just gonna take it apart. And uh, I'm gonna set this up right here, real quick. Show you guys what's up. Right? Okay, well. Uh, here it is guys got it out um, The problem that I had over here is that uh, Those guys are HMO not to bash HMO or anything uh, They left the oil inside and As they say, you know, there's no oil everything's drained ready to go uh, I propped the open and push got oil everywhere up in there What a loser what a loser I should have just checked the plug. I mean, you don't think you ship a motor with the full oil in it because they won't allow you anyways because the the mess and all that. But anyways, uh, continue on. Got the side cover off. So today we're going to be replacing the, the timing chain uh, tensioner. We're going to be replacing this chain because we're going to run the uh, Type S oil pump. And as you can tell right here, see this? You see this pump right here? See how crazy it looks? You see that? See that? We're gonna get rid of all of that. And then we're gonna change this gear right here. The intake gear with uh where did I put it right here. See that? That's a RBB, and that's a RBC. See that? Right there? See the difference? Yep. So that's what we're doing. So we're just gonna unbutton it up, take it all apart, and it's just hard because my GoPros keep running low and I gotta keep putting it in charge, so it is what it is. But we're gonna get this done and we'll see how that goes. All right, show you guys in a bit. Old pump, new pump, never thing. This ugly looking oil pump out, which is the K24. As you can tell, it's kind of old. See that? The weights on that. See the weights on that? See that? And it's also heavier. See how big that is? Right? Compare that to this. Which, by the way, it comes with that shield. And you got the bolts, one there, one here, and one there. But in order to make this oil pump fit, you will have to shave it. As you can tell, this piece right here on the block, it's in the way of that. As if you line it up right there, you can tell exactly what it hits, you know? So you got a cut right there. See that right in between? See that? Yeah, buddy. Come on with it. Let's get it going. Come on. So right here, we have a little bit of better lighting. So pretty much we have this obstacle right here in the way. And then we have to pretty much cut right there. So don't go too crazy because you need to bolt that, uh, that little tensioner for your uh, uh, the chain that goes around the crank. So don't go too high up to crack right there, but pretty much you go straight up right there, over, and then right there. So, yep, that's uh, what we're gonna do. Make sure you uh, tape all the ports so you don't get any shavings inside and just take your time with it. And uh, we're gonna go shave it here in a bit and see how that looks now. As far as shaving it, I'm probably just gonna use a, uh, a uh, grinder wheel to kind of grind it from here to here and I'm gonna cut it straight across. Uh, in order to do that, uh, I might even use a just a regular um, a hacksaw. 
See that? I'm gonna use that snap on. And then what we're going to use, we're going to use this side angle, side angle, where did it go? Right here. Side angle, bam. So we're gonna cut it with that. But we're gonna tape all the ports so we don't crack nothing. But my wife left to work and she can't find her computer, so she's hoping that she left her computer home. Otherwise, she'll be just flipping out. So I gotta put this on hold for now. Just go in there, look for it. And maybe I'll get some protein going because I'm starving and I'm starting to lose patience. And you don't wanna do that when you do engine work. So yeah, alrighty, let's get it going. Okay, so besides shaving the oil pump, what you have to do next is removing this little booger up in here. Sometimes this is a pain to remove it. Do not drop this in your motor. It's got a hole right there. Now, if you don't remove this and you put your oil pass, tire pass oil pump, you're gonna have like 30 PSI of oil pressure, not enough. So you gotta remove this and plug it. Uh, some of them come with threads, some of them doesn't. Some people use 1.8 NPT or a 12 millimeter bolt, either or. So whatever it is, uh, you can make it work and that will be, uh, that'll be it. Other than that, I still haven't shaved the water pump, uh, I mean the water pump, the oil pump, and then uh, just pretty much put it all back together. So uh, that's kind of that's kinda what I'm working on right now. I'm working on uh, doing that and uh, put uh, everything back in timing. And don't forget, it's broken right here. Now, the way I took this off, this is what I use right here, okay? So if you're watching this, I use a uh, easy out tab, see? So it's like a reverse thread kind of deal. So what I did, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this uh, camera right here so I can show you real quick. So what I did, okay, so here's the deal, right? You have this in the block, right? Now, in order to get it out, what I did, see that? I took this easy out and put it right in the center right there. See that? Right there. And then I twist it, it actually locks in. Because this is the easy out, see that? And then when you twist it, it locks it in, see that? And it just boop, 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 boop. Kind of like a plunger, you know, if you're in the toilet, it's plugged up. Is you know, if you have kids, oh man, you're gonna be doing that a lot. So maybe, you know, but I'm sure at some point you have used a plunger, but all you gotta do is just kinda twist it in there, you know, twist it backwards, reverse thread, cause it's an easy out, and just pull it up, and that's all there's to it. Don't for not forget, do not forget to plug that up, okay? Now, when you plug it up, don't forget to use some uh, Honda bun. Preferably, that'll probably be good, so uh, that would work, so. All right, guys, uh, hopefully that's a good tip for you guys right there. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and just start shaving. All righty. So we got some uh, Honda Bond up in here. So I put some in the hole right there already. And just crank it down, dude. Just, you know. You don't want this thing to come out. There you go. Crank it down, done. When you do it, you wanna make sure that this one right here, you don't wanna shake too much of it because what's going to happen, it's not going to bolt up and then you're gonna have a play, vibration, bolt is gonna come loose. Next thing you know, boom, no oil pressure, blow up your motor, more problems. So. You gotta make sure that this right here, you don't shave too much because you also wanna make sure you have enough room to uh, bolt, put your bolt in. So you shave a little bit at a time to actually bury it clear. So I use my flashlight right here. And if you look closely, you can see the light through. See that? All the way through, see that? You see that? I don't know if you can see the light, but it's uh, it's not touching. You see, you see that right there? See that, there you go that you see it right now so that's what you want to do right there that's pretty much done and you see how nice I cut it over the bolt right there goes over 
See that? Just enough where it actually it clears. Yeah, buddy. Come on with it. All done. I use a um, a uh, what do you call it? A gauge. I use a 25 gauge to uh, make sure that um, that bolt does clear from the block, which I'll probably post a picture or a video here in, in this video so I can show you guys. But that cleared up. Got the new guide right here. We got the new chain. We got the tensioner. That's the bolt right there. So you want to make sure you don't shave too much of that because that's what's going to happen. You know, as you can tell from the K24, see the little gap right there? See the little gap right there from the K24 is a little bit different, but this one is fixed. So look at that, that's solid right there. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Now we're just gonna have to put the timing. Now in order to put the timing, you know, you got this piece right here, which actually we're gonna have to spin this actually. It's, it gives, see there's a little spot right there that goes in the block. So we gotta spin this, actually goes in there. Then we're gonna have to put this piece on and then we're gonna have to put the chain that dead center. And then uh, should be golden from there. Yeah, buddy. You see my uh, my reminder I put right there? Yeah, on the last build, I forgot to uh, torque it at 82 foot pound. So, yep. Okay. We're talking about timing. Timing is one of the biggest things, especially K-series. Everybody's tripping about the timing. Bro, how do I do the timing? How do I do the timing? K-series, it's a little more complicated. It's just a little bit harder than a, a B-series because the timing chain and it's just spinning on you. Uh, it would be nice if you have two guys to uh, kind of help it right here. So the way to do it, you get a uh, 24 millimeter. You put in your cam right there and you hold it, boom. And then you get it to actually these two lines matches, see that? These two's gotta match and then this dots gotta go up, the arrow's pointing up. Now, I already put the timing in and I already spin it like once or twice. So the dots are never gonna really line up because once you spin it, you gotta have a lot of rotations that actually the the little, you know, like see how the one of the dots on the on the timing chain has got a different color. It's kind of the same way for the for the cam gears how it lines up. And if you follow through, uh, the other two are should be see there's one here and there's one here. See how the colors? Now these two, this one and this one usually they go right in between that dots right there. It's go right, right, right in between. It goes from between that one and between that one. And then the other one, which is this one right here, it goes, lines up with a little line right there. I'll put the flash out so you can see. See the little line right there? See the line right there? Yeah, so that dark one right there, you see the dark one? The dark one, the dark one right there, it's got to line up with a little dot right there. See that on the crank pulley? And then the other two, which is that one, see that? The other two, it's got to go right in between this one. So see these two, pretend this is the black ones, okay? It's got to go right in between these two, right in between these two. And then the other one, it's got to go right there, okay? And then you also got to have the arrow pointing up. See that right there? Match with that one. These two got to point up. Unless you don't have to do it that way. You don't have to you don't have to put those dots like that if you don't want to. You know what I mean? You can just slide it up, you know, put the lines up, point that up. This is straight up, you're good to go. You know what I mean? But the chain is just the easier guide to make sure you're doing it straight. And that's pretty much to it. You know what I mean? And just torque it down and you're good to go. I mean uh, if you have any question, go ahead and send me DM and uh, I'll try to walk you through it and help you. And um, there's also, there's tons of videos out there and pictures of how to do it, but pretty much uh, very uh, straightforward. Make sure the crank right there, see how it's got a little arrow, matches with that one. These two's gotta point straight up, the line's gotta be across. The first cylinder, take this pro plug out and put your dipstick inside and make sure that this cylinder is up, you know what I mean? 
very simple you don't have to worry about the colors because it gets a little more confusing about that and then don't forget to remove this because removing this makes it easier to uh to put your chain to adjust it and that's all there's to it man i mean oil pump is in timing is on all i gotta do now is just you know bolt it up i do gotta bolt this one up and this one is an 82 foot pound so i'm gonna get my torque wrench and i'm gonna get it ready to 82 i'm gonna hold it with that right there and i'm gonna torque it down and that's all there's to it guys with as far as the oil pump the tensioner by the way guys uh, i forgot to say it i mentioned it i put a new tensioner see that see that that's the old and the new see that so kind of cool right there right make sure you always put a new timing tensioner from honda cannot go wrong with that all right guys and um yep that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and torque this one at 82 and we're done here tomorrow is my son's birthday party so i gotta get the house cleaned up and get everything ready for tomorrow clean up my garage maybe i'll do that tomorrow maybe i'll do it tonight i don't know but i just want to get the motor done i'm gonna get some wrinkle paint tomorrow i'm gonna wrinkle paint the side cover get the oil panel cleaned up and paint it and you know just kind of get it all ready and that should do it kind of excited to get the motor and training put together yeah buddy let's go on with it